Hello guys, my name is Dinosaur, and I'm in, standing in my yard wearing my winter jacket, and you guys are probably wondering why. It's actually not that cold out, but I am layered up in this video to prove a point. And the point I'm trying, I'm going to be making is about salvation, and why you cannot lose it. Uh, and I was not quite at peace with the video I did last night. I'm always talking about how there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ, and, but I'm never quite explaining it. So in this video, I'm going to read through some Bible verses and actually demonstrate what it means through this, um, I don't know what you call it, but I've seen a video on YouTube, and I will leave a link in the description to it. Uh, and this really spoke to me about how you cannot lose your salvation. So I'm not doing it exactly as this other YouTuber did, but basically the overall idea is this. I am a sinner lost in the cold world of sin, but God leads me to this door. This door is Jesus. All I have to do to go through it is repent, metanoia, change my mind about God. I say, Lord, I'm sorry, I, I admit I am a sinner, and please forgive me, I thank you for what Jesus did on the cross, that I can be forgiven. And then, the door opens. And now, I'm on the other side of the door, which is Jesus. What just happened? I've been justified. And now, since I'm justified, I can take off this layer, which represents my sin. And then I cast it away. Now I'm in a state of imperfection. A lot of people are under the misconception that salvation is sanctification. No, you are working towards that steadily to a state of perfection, but you will only reach that state in heaven where you will put on a body of oikateria, on a body incapable of sinning. But in the meantime... We are just working towards sanctification. Now, we cannot work for salvation. We cannot work for our justification. When we are in Christ, we will still sin, but it is not charged to our account. Because of what Jesus did on the cross, we became His righteousness. In the eyes of God. God sees in the spirit. You will sin and fall short. And when it seems like the layer of sin is put back on. You just confess it. Lord I'm sorry. I admit I am a sinner. I thank you for your forgiveness. I thank you that I can be forgiven. Thanks to what Jesus did on the cross. And the sin is off. It's no longer charged to your account. That is how salvation works. You cannot lose it. Once saved always saved is not the truth. Once you are saved, you cannot just freely sin and go to heaven. No. But when you do slip up in sin, you have forgiveness. There is no condemnation for you. In Romans chapter 4, I mean not chapter 4, chapter 7, I'm sorry. In verse 19, the Apostle Paul writes, For the good that I, that I would do, I do not. But the evil which I would not do, that I do. Basically what Paul is saying is that he practices is that he practices the evil he wishes he didn't. Now what's going on here? Well first let's take that a step further. By looking that by looking up that verse in the Greek interlinear, the original language that Paul spoke. Uh not indeed that I desire, I do practice. This word practice in Greek is poyo. There are two ways to say practice in Greek. Poyo, which means doing. Or uh, poyo, which means to practice. Or preso, means to keep on doing. Not that I indeed I desire, I do practice. Poyo, the good but that I not, I do what I do want, 
the evil, this I keep on doing. Pray so. So Paul is saying he does the evil he doesn't want to do. Does that mean he's unsaved? Well, let's look at Romans chapter 8, verse 1. There is therefore, there's therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Now let's look at this in the interlinear. Because Paul is describing about how, because he is in Christ, he is still sinning, but he is not condemned for it. There, in the Greek interlinear, there is no, therefore, now condemnation for those in Christ Jesus, not, ac not according to the flesh who walk, but according to the Spirit. How do you walk in the Spirit? You trust in the finished work of Christ. You trust in Him for your salvation. You do that, and you cannot lose it. You do not have to maintain it. It is a free gift. It is by grace through faith that we receive it. God's not going to take away a gift. If you can't earn it, you can't really lose it. I hope this video has blessed you. There's going to be a part two. See ya.